That's what I want to do to my phone right now. You guys don't understand. I have been talking and doing a story time for 30 fucking minutes and realized I never hit record. Um, cool. Now it won't be as funny. I'm going to forget what I'm going to say. Like, are you absolutely kidding me? I'm through. Let me start over. What's up, bitch? Ah. So, is it recording? Okay. It's been a while. It's been probably three weeks now. Spring break happened. School was happening. Well, school almost happened, you know. My hair. Can we talk about it? Do we like it? Do we hate it? You never know. We're going to get into it. So, where to begin? I am so annoyed. I literally had this all talked about and this heffa stopped recording. Wow. Okay. So, we're going to start with my freaking 21st birthday. Baby! Just happened three weeks ago. March 10th. That's my birthday. Hi. Um... Super exciting. Kind of kind of stressful, but like super exciting. So um, for those who don't know me, I originally like live in Dallas area, but I go to school in Arkansas. So I'm like, you know, back and forth, whatever. I know it's confusing, but whatever. Um, so, you know, I've been in school. It was my 21st birthday and I was like, school is just so important to me. Like, I love it so much. Like, I cry because school is just, like, so important. I love it. I never want it to end. <laughs> just kidding. No. So, I was like, here's the thing. My 21st birthday is scheduled the same week I have class. But then that next week is spring break. So, I'm like, class, 21st birthday. Like, what would Jesus do? Jesus would pick his 21st birthday. Thank you. Um, so yeah, um, I, skipped, I skipped class or school for a whole week. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <clears throat> Don't smoke, bitch. I'm struggling. Okay, I'm two weeks behind. I, I really fucked up. But um, <laughs> I'm out here. Please help me. I'm just kidding. No, um, so yeah, I'm two weeks behind. I just got back home. And I think it was worth it because my 21st birthday really was so much fun. Like I went down to Dallas. It was the most stressful thing I've ever had to like go through, but let's get into that. So 21st birthday, decided to go to the freaking Omni. Well, go to the Omni. I had a like a sweet reserved. Everything was good. Everything was dandy. Everything was jolly. <laughs> Anyways, Omni, you know what? I'm coming for you, bitch. Listen up. I had a, like a sweet, I can't speak. I had a sweet reserved. It was done. It was sold. And um, I noticed in my car, like in my bank account, that I wasn't getting charged because it was like less than 24 hours before. And usually you get like a pro charge, like whatever you would say. So I was like, okay, this is some sketchy shit. Like, why is it not going through? So we call Omni and we're like, Hey, just making sure this room is still available for tomorrow for since we, you know, reserved it. And they're like, oh no, that was for the 21st. Um, sorry, faggot. Like, I was like, okay, cool. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I was like, what the hell? Like, how did that even happen? And so we were like, okay, well, that's fine. Just like, can we move it to the sixth, like tomorrow? They're like, no, it's St. Patrick's Day weekend. Like, there's no way we could do that for you. Like, I'm so sorry. Beat it. So, um, yeah, I cried for a couple hours at the sign. And so we were like, okay, let's check out the W. A W is also another really cool and like younger hotel because the difference in da Dallas is, is there's the younger side of Dallas where I feel like it's okay to be loud and have 21st birthdays in their hotels. And then there's the other side, which is like relaxed 40, 50 year olds who just want to chill out and have a like date night. You know what I mean? So... The only two places were the place called Town Place or a place called Hotel Zaza. So we picked Hotel Zaza because it looked pretty outside and there was like, it was a suite. So let me tell you, <laughs> let me fucking tell you about Hotel Zaza right now. 
I pull up to this bitch. We paid, I'm not even gonna say how much I paid because it was a freaking lot. But we pull up to this hotel. Make sure it's still recording. Wow, that'd be tragic. Pulled up to the hotel, it was beautiful. Rolls Royce, Bentley, golf carts, Yukons, ready to you know, pick you up, take you anywhere. Like it was gorgeous. And so I bring two packs of like Miklo Ultra, Crown and Peach, vodka, all of this stuff. And as soon as like, before I even get to the front desk, they're like, we're gonna have to confiscate the alcohol if you had read online in the guidelines, um, you can't have outside alcohols so we're taking it from you. And I was like, who? Who are you talking to? Cause I know what it mean. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they were talking to me. So I'm um, sweet, like sick. Um, so they took my beer and I told them, I was like, look, like you can have the beer. Cause beer is one of those things. It's like, it's just like water. Just, you can get it anywhere. I'm telling you <laughs> it's beer, but no, not my crown and peach and not my vodka, bitch. Those are fighting words. So I told them, I was like, if I could hide it in my bag, like, is that okay? Can, you know, can we not see that? And they were like, sure, like, we'll let that go. So whatever, they took my beer, go inside. I get to the front desk. <laughs> let me tell you something. This bitch at the front desk, sorry, pardon my French, but this bitch, I've never been like so disrespected and just like felt more disgusting as a person. Like it was crazy. Like I pull up, and she's one of those bitches that's like you would see in like an old movie, like a bitchy librarian just being like. You know what I mean? Just typing away like whatever. Probably on like Christian Mingle. So she looks up and she takes my ID and she's like, oh, you're the one, the 21st. Okay, yeah, you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Here's some guidelines. Here's all the rules. Um, no being a faggot, no drinking, no smoking, no this, or we will find you and put you in jail. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> ah! Like, no, not, I mean, obviously I'm kidding, but like, it, it was very strict. They were like, I know you're 21, but this is not a playground. We will have security patrolling the hallway that you're on to make sure that there's no noise complaints or that you're not being too loud, destructive. We will kick you out. Like, it was insane. You could tell this hotel was definitely made for more relaxing like an older generation than 21 you're like 21 for 21st birthday sorry so it was just it was just a mess but at the end of the night like it was pretty good um i got pickpocketed at a bar in dallas um i lost my a group of my friends <laughs> like it was crazy it was great but no um i did have a good time the people that were there like came through so moving on from my 21st birthday I hope you like that. Let's talk about my hair. So, I'm pretty sure in the old video, I told y'all I think it was going through an identity crisis. Wow, I look like they're really red right now. Herpes? Um, I was having an identity crisis, like I wanna dye my hair, blah, blah. But then I changed my mind and I was growing it out and bro, it was getting so long, like I could twist it. It was amazing, like I loved it. Ugh. But, I decided, I was like, you know what? I want to put silver in my hair. I was like, let's make it silver. Let's go crazy. Like, go stupid. Go crazy. Uh, and I'm trying to find something silver. Like, I, I can't even describe. Like, it's just straight silver. Like, the silver on here is how I wanted it. Y'all get the gist. This girl has the audacity to put. I, I don't even know if you can tell. But, like, this is not silver, sweetie. I don't know if you went to the school of um colors i don't know if you were in second grade but that's it's not silver you know what i mean but um she was great she was sweet i'm not trying to throw shade but like i was shocked whenever it did not come out silver so um you know i've been dealing with it it's fine i think it's kind of growing on me you know i really wanted to change it compliments my rosy cheeks it really makes my eyes pop and i don't know i think i'm waiting for it to fade and during the midst of this um, we had it like platinum blonde, like I'm talking Countess from Hotel, like American Horror Story. It was like white, loved it. So I think I'm gonna let this fade and maybe go back white. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But right now I'm just kind of digging this, gonna let it fade, use my purple shampoo and whatever happens, happens. But what the hell have y'all been up to? How was your spring break? Literally? 
nothing really exciting happened to me at all. Like, I know it was my 21st birthday, but like it was my 21st and I dyed my hair pink. Like, it was a straight bust. But I'm here now. And also, look how cute this fucking shirt is. I got it at Urban Outfitters like a year ago. I just love the Smurfs. But, what is there to talk about? I guess this is just this was just like a catch-up video. Like, just to make let y'all know that I'm still alive, still breathing. Um, I will be making more videos now that I'm back home. I really was busy. Like, I've been slacking, but I've been busy. So, I'm going to try to get back, like, into that. If y'all like story times, let me know. If y'all want to see some weird shit, whatever, just let me down, know in the comments down below. Give this a like, thumbs up, comment, whatever you want to do. Call me faggot. Call me skinny. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but no, um, I will got... I, <clears throat> I will talk to you guys later. I will be posting soon, and I hope you all have a good night. Also, I realized now that I'm editing, I'm so fidgety and like pulling on my jacket a lot and doing some weird shit. I'm sorry about that. That's really cringe, but <sighs> the spring break weight is real. I stayed at home and ate a lot, so I have just been covering myself in sweats and hoodies, so I apologize about that. But other than that, hope you liked the video.